sagebrush, artemisia. How can you grow it? What can you do with it? That is our topic today. I'm Amanda Rose. I'm here at the base of Mount Whitney. Actually, this is sagebrush country. Sagebrush is grown all over the West. This is a native plant, um, a, a sort of high desert plant. The Eastern Sierra is literally covered with sagebrush. These plants can get very big if they're in the right conditions, um, even up to eight feet tall, maybe even bigger. Um, I see one in front of me that's probably approaching 10 feet tall. So if they're in the right habitat, they get quite big. They are very, very drought hardy. They don't need much water. This is the growth habit of sagebrush, but if it even got a little bit of water, it would definitely green up and it would look a lot better. A neighbor of ours planted sagebrush about 30 years ago. You can see the plant isn't very big, but it's not dead and it greens up as soon as the rain comes. This is some of the sagebrush that I planted a year ago. You can see it's quite green and lovely. Um, some people have not had success with them, mainly because a big thing that it needs is it needs good drainage. It doesn't like to sit in water. And so in good years, you really need to make sure that plant is planted in a really good sandy soil that's gonna drain well. It's very cold hardy as well. It, um, you can um, plant it down into like zone four. So it's in the zone four to about zone nine range in sandy soil. This is a plant to consider as people are switching from lawns to drought tolerant landscapes in their front yard. It, so what can you do with it? Sagebrush is very fragrant. Um, my kids say that it's actually pretty stinky. It does have a very distinct stink to it. It is bitter. It tastes much like it smells, but with very distinct bitterness. This is not something you're probably going to want to turn into a tea. This is known as one of the better pest repelling plants, and so it has that property. The kids have had a lot of fun with sagebrush, especially around the campfire. Check out some of their projects with it, and check out some of our other projects here on our YouTube channel.